Yes, so my name is Skuli Mogensen, founder and CEO of Huawei. Well, good afternoon, and thank you very much for taking a moment to speak for Breaking Travel News today. You're welcome. We're here at uh, World Travel Market in London, um, coming to the end of the first day. How do you describe the mood in the hospitality sector in Iceland this year? Oh, we're very excited about being here, and uh, it's been a good mar uh, show for us. Uh, we've been here every year since we started the airline, so I think it continues to expand and, and move forward. And you just expanded into this market as well, a new route out of London stands there. How's that being received? Uh, so it's just being uh, launched, so it's too early to tell, but uh, London as a whole has been very good for us. Uh, we have uh, Gatwick as our highest frequency uh, uh, airport, so uh, we're very excited about Stansted and uh, we will continue to uh, invest in the UK market. Okay. It's quite an exciting time for the airline as well. You're turning your focus towards North America, a number of new routes coming there as well. Yes, so a uh, major shift uh, uh, next year as we will then for the first time have approximately 50% uh, or 50-50 split between Europe destinations and North American destinations. So we're adding uh, St. Louis, Dallas, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit uh, in North America. We just announced uh, or just started flying to Pittsburgh as well, Chicago. Uh, so we're very excited about that. So this is very much the Iceland as a destination coming of age. You're able to use the geography of the country to, uh, to offer a great service to, to British and European travelers. Yeah, so I think Iceland as a hub is just starting to emerge as, as uh, what it really can achieve. So next year, end of next year, we hope to add Asia into our network as well. If you look at the number of passengers going through Iceland today, it's about 8 million, uh, mostly going then between North America and Europe. If you look at uh, Helsinki Airport, it's 16 million between Asia and Europe primarily. So uh, we definitely think that we can still double in size in the next couple of years. And from a domestic perspective, you're certainly on, on route to do that as well. You've become the largest carrier in the country. Uh, among Icelanders, yes. Yeah. We surpassed Iceland Air for the first time in Q3, where more Icelanders flew with uh, WOW than Iceland Air. Yeah, so congratulations on that. Thank you. But you're not uh, resting on your laurels. I believe you have a number of new aircraft joining the fleet as well to improve the service uh, still further. Yeah, so we are currently with 17 aircraft, Airbus aircraft, uh, early next year or in the first two quarters, we're adding another three. And then in Q4 next year, we're adding uh, four brand new 330 uh, 900neos, uh, which we're very excited about. This will be our largest aircraft that we have in our fleet. And the range allows us pretty much a direct flight between Iceland and anywhere in Asia. So that gives you an idea of our ambitions for end of next year. Okay, well, it sounds like a very exciting time for the other. And I appreciate the time to speak to us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.